if x equals to 7 plus root 40 then what is the value of root x plus 1 by root x now let us say root x equals to root a plus root b squaring on both sides we will have root x whole square is equals to root a plus root b whole square or can we say root a whole square plus root b whole square plus 2 into root a into root b we have a plus b whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab which will give us x equals to a plus b plus 2 root ab but what is our x 7 plus root 40 so can we write down 7 plus root 40 is equals to a plus b plus 2 root ab now let us equate the different parts we will have a plus b equals to 7 that is the rational part and the irrational part we have 2 root ab equals to root 40 which can be written as 2 root to 10 now let's separate them and write down we have a plus b equals to 7 comma 2 root ab equals to root 40 which can be written as 2 root to 10 that means ab equals to 10 so we have to find out a and b values such that a plus b equals to 7 and a b equals to 10 we can make this as a quadratic equation and we can solve it or we can by intuition say that a equals to 5 and b equals to 2 because 5 plus 2 is 7 and 5 into 2 equals to 10 so our root x is now equals to root 5 plus root 2 now what we need to find out is 1 by root x that we can easily find out by rationalization of denominator so let's write down 1 by root x equals to 1 by root 5 plus root 2 let's multiply that with root 5 minus root 2 on both numerator and denominator we will have 1 by root 5 plus root 2 multiply with root 5 minus root 2 divided by root 5 minus root 2 in the denominator we have a plus b into a minus b which can be written as a square minus b square root 5 is our a and root 2 is our b we have a plus b into a minus b which is equals to a square minus b square the whole idea of multiplying with the opposite sign in the denominator is to remove that square roots and make it rational so it will become root 5 whole square minus root 2 whole square which is equals to root 5 minus root 2 divided by 3 now we have root x value with us that is root 5 plus root 2 and just now we found out that 1 by root x is root 5 minus root 2 divided by 3 now we can add both of them we can find out the value of root x plus 1 by root x so let's go ahead and do that root x plus 1 by root x is equals to root 5 plus root 2 plus root 5 minus root 2 divided by 3 taking LCM we will have denominator will be 3 and we will have 3 root 5 plus 3 root 2 plus root 5 minus root 2 which is equals to 4 root 5 plus 2 root 2 by 3 we can take 2 by 3 common we will have 2 by 3 into 2 root 5 plus root 2 so our answer is 2 by 3 into 2 root 5 plus root 2 so if x equals to 7 plus root 40 then root x plus 1 by root x is equal to 2 by 3 into 2 root 5 plus root 2 so what we have done we have taken that root x equals to root a plus root b we squared it on both sides we got x equals to a plus b plus 2 root a b 
equating we have a plus b equals to 7 and 2 root a b equals to root 40. From that we got a plus b is 7 and a b equals to 10. So a equals to 5 and b equals to 2. Once we got root x it's easy now because we can rationalize the denominator for 1 by root x and we can find out that root 1 by root x equals to root 5 minus root 2 by 3. Now clubbing them together what we need we will get 2 by 3 into 2 root 5 plus root 2.